Today, I'm going to list my top 10 men's 400 meter sprinters of all time. Now, let me note that this is only for the 400 meters. So I don't factor in 200 meter accolades or even the 4x400 four meter relay. This is also my own personal list. Everyone has differing opinions on which criteria holds more weight, whether it's world records, Olympic medals, overall consistency, etc. So go in the comments below and list your top men's 400 meter sprinters of all time. And don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date with all all the future content that we'll be putting out. So with that, let's jump into the list. I'll start off with four honorable mentions before getting into my top 10. First off, I have Danny Everett from the United States. He's an Olympic bronze medalist from Seoul 1988 and also has a world championship bronze from Tokyo 1991. He has a personal best of 43.81 seconds, which was number three all time back in 1992 and currently stands as number 12 on the all time list. He has also broken 44 seconds on two occasions throughout his career. Next up, I have Larry James from the United States. He has an Olympic silver medal from Mexico City in 1968 and a personal best of 43.97 seconds. That time was number two all time in 1968, just the second person in history to break the 44 second barrier and still currently stands as number 18 in history to this day. He also has a time of 44.19 seconds, which he ran earlier in 1968. That was officially the world record since Lee Evans, who ran fast than him in that race actually ran an illegal spike so technically Larry James held the world record. My next honorable mention is Quincy Watts from the United States Olympic gold medalist from Barcelona 1992 and he has a personal best of 43.50 seconds from that Olympic final race. That stood as number two all time in 1992 and currently sits at number seven in history of the 400 meters. He has run under 44 seconds four times in his entire career. Though he has Olympic gold he unfortunately never won any other medals so that's why I have Quincy Watts as an honorable mention. For my final honorable mention I have George Roden from Jamaica. He is the Olympic gold medalist from Helsinki 1952 and has a personal best of 45.8 seconds hand timed which was a world record back in 1950. He also has a time of 45.9 seconds hand timed which he set in 1952 and was the second best of all time only behind his own world record back then. He had three Three consecutive number one world rankings in 1950, 1951, and 1952, so he definitely goes down as one to be mentioned as one of the best all time. Now let's jump into the top 10 list. First off at number 10, I have Steve Lewis from the United States. He's the Olympic gold medalist from Seoul 1988, and he also has a silver medal from Barcelona 1992. His personal best of 43.87 seconds was number three all time back in that 1988 season, and still currently stands as number 14 all time. He has only broken 43 seconds that one time and he unfortunately never had any world championship medals. He also never ranked number one in the 400 meters throughout his career so that's why I have him at number 10. Heading up to number nine I have Otis Davis from the United States the Olympic gold medalist from Rome 1960. His personal best of 44.9 seconds hand timed was the world record back in 1960 and most significantly it was the first time for any man to ever break the 45 second barrier in the 400 meter dash. He also had times of 45.5 seconds, 45.9 seconds, and 46.8 seconds hand timed back in his day. So again, number nine, Otis Davis from the United States. Jumping up to number eight, we have Karani James from Grenada. He is the Olympic gold medalist from London 2012 and also has a silver medal from Rio de Janeiro 2016. In addition, he has two world champions championship medals from Daegu 2011, the gold medal, and a bronze from Beijing 2015. His personal best of 43.74 seconds was number four all time when he set it in 2014 and still stands as number 11 all time. He is the first non-American to ever break the 44 second barrier with his 43 second run at those London 2012 Olympics. He has also run 43 seconds on seven occasions throughout his career, so Karani James, my number eight. Coming in at my number seven, I have Harry. 
Mary Butch Reynolds from the United States, the Olympic silver medalist from Seoul 1988, and he also has a plethora of world championship medals. Two silvers from 1993 and 1995, and then a bronze medal from 1987. He also has the world indoor gold medal from Toronto 1993. His personal best of 43.29 seconds set the world record back in 1988 and stood for 11 years until it was broken in 1999. That currently stands as number three all time to this day. And in addition, he has broken 44 seconds on four occasions through his career. That's why I have Butch Reynolds as number seven. Heading up to number six, I have Herb McKinley from Jamaica, one of the most legendary Jamaican athletes in the history of the sport. He's a two-time Olympic medalist, silver in London 1948, and then another silver in Helsinki 1952. He broke the world record a few times through his career. First, he ran 46.0 seconds hand-timed. Then he improved upon that in 1948, running 45.9 seconds hand-timed. That made him the first man in history to ever break the 46-second barrier in the 400 meters. In addition, it wasn't official, but he also ran a hand-timed race of 45 seconds flat in the 400 meters. It was unfortunately wind-aided and run on a straight course, so it couldn't be counted as an official time, but it just demonstrates the ability of Herb McKinley back in the 1940s and 50s and displays his ability in the 400 meters. Getting into my top five, I have Wade Van Niekerk from South Africa. He is the Olympic gold medalist from Rio 2016, and he also has two other gold medals from Beijing 2015 and London 2017. His personal best of 43.03 seconds is the current standing world record, breaking the world record set by Michael Johnson back in 1999 in that amazing race in Rio de Janeiro where he ran it from lane 8. He also has broken 44 seconds on 6 occasions through his career. Now despite having the current world record, he unfortunately hasn't had a full long career like some of the athletes, so that's why I have Wade Van Niekerk at number 5. Coming in at my number 4, I have LaShawn Merritt from the United States, a 2 time Olympic medalist with a gold medal in Beijing 2008 and a bronze medal in Rio 2016. He also has 5 world championship medals, gold in 2009 and 2013, as well as three silvers from 2007, 2011, and 2015. His personal best of 43.65 seconds was number six all time back in 2015 and still currently stands as number nine all time. He has also broken 44 seconds on nine occasions through his career, which is the second most of any 400 meter runner in history. He has world rankings from 2005 all the way to 2017, including four number one rankings through his career. That's why I have LaShawn Merritt at number four. Now, jumping into the top three, I have Lee Evans from the United States, the Olympic gold medalist from 1968 in Mexico City. He set the world record on two occasions. First, earlier in 1968, he ran 44.06 seconds to break the world record. It unfortunately wasn't officially recognized because the spikes he wore were technically illegal, but then he improved that world record to 43.86 seconds in that 1968 Olympic final, the first person to ever break the 44 second barrier and was the world record for 20 years until 1988. He world ranked seven times through his career including four number one world rankings so Lee Evans coming in at my number three. At number two I have Jeremy Warner from the United States, two time Olympic medalist from Athens 2004 where he got his first gold medal then followed up with a silver medal in Beijing 2008. He also has world championship medals with two golds in 2005 and 2007, as well as a silver medal in 2009. His personal best of 43.45 seconds was number three all time in 2007 and still sets him at number four all time to this day. He has run under 44 seconds nine times through his career, which is the second most of any athlete tied with LaShawn Merritt. He world ranked from 2004 to 2012, including five number one rankings throughout his career. And between 2004 and 2007, he only lost four individual 400 meter races. One of the most dominant athletes in history, Jeremy Warner at my number two. Finally, the greatest 400 meter runner of all time, I have Michael Johnson from the United States at my number one, a two-time Olympic gold medalist from Atlanta 1996 and Sydney 2000, the only man to ever defend his Olympic gold medal. He also is a four-time world championship gold medalist, 93, 95, 97, and 99. That means he won every single 400 meter gold medal between 1990 
1993 and 2000. His personal best of 43.18 seconds was the world record set back in 1999 and stood for 17 years until it was broken in 2016. Of course, still currently number two all time to this day. He has broken 44 seconds on 22 occasions throughout his entire career, which is more than double than the next best athletes to ever do it. In the 11 seasons between 1990 and 2000, he ranked number one in 10 of those seasons. He also went undefeated in 58 consecutive 400 meter final races from 1989 to 1996. In total, he only lost two 400 meter final races throughout his entire career. For all of those reasons and likely more, that's why I have Michael Johnson as the greatest 400 meter runner of all time. So those are my top 10 men's 400 meter sprinters of all time. Again, this is just my personal top 10. So go in the comments below and let me know who your top guys are in the 400 meters all time. Also, check out my previous video on how the men's 400 meters has completely changed in just the last decade. Make sure you guys like the video, subscribe to the channel, and we'll be back again next time. Thanks.